if you've seen the earlier segments of this journey, um, you'll know that uh, we were once upon a time going to do a documentary uh, about uh, the British takeover of uh, Malaysia, but Covid got in the way. And uh, this documentary was going to follow Isabella Bird's journey through 1870s Malaysia. And that required elephants, so we came to see some elephants. These were probably the ancestors of the ones that uh, she came across, and she was not impressed. The ones she had to deal with, um, well, they had wills of their own and a propensity to suddenly take a drink and spray themselves in muddy water, regardless of who was sitting on their back. Well, it didn't grab my camera, my nieces. <laughs> That's good. I don't know, I've got all sorts of shots, but I think my favourite is the close up of the eye and the eyelash. <laughs> Most of the others, they seem to have a bit of a human in the way. Yeah. Telling me something. Yeah. What's the sugar cane? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but although we didn't get really good shots of these elephants because of people, you know, and uh, fences and no, the, the rivers all sorts the of place for the photos. things like that. Uh, so um, yeah. we're collecting. What is it we're doing, Helen? We're collecting memories. We're ours. collecting memories. Yes and boring you with these <laughs> with these videos which show sort of half-baked shots of things happening just off shot just out of range See, what you don't realise is that this is her seventh meal this morning. Breakfast? Yeah, this is only the third meal of the day and it's 4pm. This is the third meal. And it's still only 4pm. And it's still only 4pm, <laughs> meaning there's at least three meals to go. Coffee house. Oh, oh, right. Uh, we're at uh, Grandfather T's Coffee House. So I'm no, we're, we're, AI. <clears throat> we're not at Grandfather's T's or Key's Coffee House. We're at Grandfather Key's Coffee House. We're at Nobody's Help Coffee House. Uh, Helen confuses things by telling me it's a tea. So what is it's it, Helen? Coffee House, is it? Uh, well, what is it then? Uh, uh, 
Hannes will tell you what it is. It's a Lamar Heating establishment. It's a Lama Heating establishment. Yes, and it is an establishment because people come here from KL and there's a queue on weekends. Right. <clears throat> so, who's Grandfather T and why does he have a coffee house and we're not at it? I was trying to give you an example in English that you might understand because you weren't kind of understanding what Alice was telling you. So you 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 told me that it was Grandfather no, Tees no, and she told me it was Grandfather Keys and then then it wasn't either of those okay. whatever nor is it a coffee house. Whatever I said was wrong. And some people and some people read the sign of the place they're entering. <laughs> <laughs> It's, I, only, it's only 10 by 4. All, all, all I can that see is, is Chendol uh, written uh, down, and that, uh, that's not... And well done for not asking yeah. for Chendol. That's right. Bring Kuala day. Lumpur. So one day we did KL. the Batu Caves. Yes. And a lot of time we did the Twin Towers. And, and as you can see, times, uh, all, the time, all the time you were looking into Indonesia, uh, we did KL lights. Yes. And yeah, yeah. As you can see, it's a city that is um, aging towards the 21st century. Uh, bits of it are other bits of it not but it's very confusing and I keep thinking to myself is will Chelmsford ever be like this I full of wonderful restaurants and shops and expensive places oh ramen ramen right Hanabi ramen okay that's it that's what we're going to it's Japanese food today This is a very complicated shopping mall, isn't it? It's one designed for you not to know where you are and be engrossed and lost. Using all perspective and spending your whole savings. This one. <laughs> It's that pop. Oh, okay. On the sign outside, yeah. Well, I have no idea what's going on. I think it was. We would have to wait too long, or it was the wrong place, or they didn't do ramen, or. I don't know. I'm going along with whatever happens. Just checked into the uh, Pullman here in, in Kuala Lumpur. And we have a... Oh, what is it? An apartment. Rather large. Oh, right. With a view of the Manaro Tara and our own kitchen, which I'm sure we'll make full use of. <laughs> or open a packet of crisps or something instead, since we're surrounded by restaurants. And over here, we have a view of the Minara Tower. Oh yes, there it is. It's that thin pointy one. When I stay in a place like this, I keep thinking I should be a rock star instead, you know, because this is the place that you have your all your rock star fans in and you trash it just to show that you're above such ooh, uh, consumerist ideologies.
So where are you? I'm at the KAL Convention Centre Water Garden. Right. For the first of the light shows of the evening. Biggest light show at 9 o'clock. Mini light show at 9 o'clock. Kuala Lumpur has an impenetrable road system, but it has created these pedestrian precincts full of extravagant shopping malls. And as KL is a mostly Chinese city, Chinese New Year means lots of dragons and colourful light displays. The name Kuala Lumpur means muddy estuary and it has come a long way since its origins as a tin mining encampment regularly burnt down by feuding triads and genocidal Malay rebels at odds with the Bugis Sultan who saw the place as a great moneymaker. Mm -hmm. 